here is the before. This is the wood I picked up. So first thing is you know? cover this. Hey, here's something interesting. If you look at the axle, you can see it has a bow in it. See that how it's curved up? So if you're planning on doing an axle swap and moving the axle to below the leaf springs. Just make sure you keep the top pointing up. So here are the chalk lines to mark out the rails underneath. Here's my old trailer. This one is uh, very heavy. It's got um, 15 inch tires diamond plate, thick frame, really strong, heavy, decking, uh, and this one's much bigger and a lot lighter. So that's what I'm going here for. I'm going for a light versus heavy, more space. I also look at the tailgate. This tailgate, probably four feet tall. This is like almost five and a half, six feet. That is really a lot of drag in the, when you're driving down the road. This one's a lot less. Plus it doesn't block your view as much as this. They should sell a can of this when they sell you this because the trailer gets so many dings and bumps and scratches that start to rust as soon as they assemble it so you can see here I just kinda shot the area that is uh see here's some rust I don't know if you can see right there this is just from uh, banging it up against other things in the home center. There you go. Like I said, it should come with a can of this. Here, tire, extra tire, $30. Uh, basically the exact same ply and weight rating. These tires are weighted for 700 pounds, at least the one I just bought, and the originals are around 600 something. So this is the same rating tire, uh, 12 inch, and I'm gonna mount it on the side here. Okay, so here is a $30 tongue jack. Very easy to install. It's nicely and as you can see from the chalk lines I spaced out where I was putting the deck with the screws so I used a 4 by 8 piece of plywood in the center and there's 1 by 8s on either side that's because I didn't have a, I couldn't get a 5 by 8 piece of plywood the plywood's half inch which is pretty thin but I'm going for lightweight here um, I used self tapping pan head metal screws to secure the deck now the deck is pressure treated and I put a lot of screws in well not a lot but every few feet so the idea was that um, 
it makes things easy to slide in and out, which is mostly what I do, sliding boxes and stuff on the trailer. And then in addition to that, you want, um, adding the wood adds a lot of stiffness to the frame. So by keeping it, not adding a lot of weight, um, is probably now, the, the trailer is 375 pounds new. And I think after you add a bunch of hardware you can, in wood, you probably end up around 400 pounds. It's still pretty easy to move around. I also just added these, um, put my beer down, these uh, ratchets, these straps here. And I'm going to add more of those. Oh, and the other thing I did is I put these on. These are Bearing Buddy. Um, they're uh, basically Zerk. There's no Zerk fittings in the hubs, which is kind of bad. But you put these on, and this allows you to grease the bearings on a regular basis. Otherwise, you have to take it apart and grease the bearings by hand every year, and that's a real pain. Um, there are grease fittings in the hinges, which I'll try to show you. So there's the grease fitting. So these hinges can be greased. That is awesome. Moving on. Okay, so I've mounted the spare tire. There it is. And I used a simple u-bolt drilled through the frame and then just attached here I added a, there's a small wood block in there to keep it from bouncing at all so that's the spare tire and then toolbox this is mounted the same way there's a U-bolt there. And then a piece of wood in a so to keep it stiff. It's kind of tight, but I needed to keep it spaced away from the wheel. I tried this, but that didn't work, so Simple is always better. And there it is, folded up. Just barely enough room for everything. Okay, so um, I just wanted to show how this works. You put a lock on this, and those two screws hold the tire on. So I put on um, these are the eyelet bolts. Let's see here. There's the screw. I decided to put some stainless steel hardware on. This will last longer than the trailer. Here. I had to use some brass ones here. This is all I had left over. I put about every two feet. That with the tie downs on the ground should allow me to more or less hold everything down. I'll put some uh, plastic caps over the hubs to keep this clean. And that's pretty much it. Now it already started to to rust a little bit. And here in Florida see like see right there rust a little rust starting rust all on the edges here it's gonna rust I've owned these inexpensive trailers before and I leave it outside and there's no way you're gonna fight it it's gonna fall apart so they're basically disposable I figure five five six years and the frame will be in pretty bad shape but by then you know you beat it up and maybe you sell it and get it, get something new but for the money it, it, it uh, 
it's pretty easy to modify it. That's why that's why I liked it. So there you go.